Alrighty boys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to continue the discussion of the FIFA 16 career mode, new features, but this time we're going to focus on the player career side of things or the my player as it's known here on YouTube because, you know, I was reading through the comments of my you know other FIFA 16 career mode features video and I was surprised that a lot of you guys have interest, particular interest in what is happening with the my player mode that they even touch it. Is there any new features coming to it? What are the fixes, etc, etc. You guys had some questions and I do actually have some answers because they haven't even, I don't even think they've, they've talked about it too much. Uh, the player career definitely, definitely is not a priority. Um, you know, the manager career, not career mode in general, isn't the priority. It's ultimate team as we all know that, but I can understand that. Um, but they did make some changes to career mode. Those changes mainly apply to the manager career or the manager mode. So, um, what did they do to the player career? That's what we're going to talk about. So, um, I, I listened to an interview, as I mentioned in the first video, uh, with a, you know, it was a foothead interview with uh, Santiago Jaramillo, which is the career mode producer at EA Sports. Um, and he states, you know, he states when asked, uh, what about the player career? What are the new changes? What's new there? He states uh, that he says we mainly focused on the manager career mode. That's what he said, like exactly what he said. We mainly focused on the manager career mode. I will le leave a link to the Foothead interview with, with Santiago Jaramillo, the career mode producer, in the description. I'll try to leave a timestamp exactly on when they start talking about the player career so you know what I'm talking about, so you take it from him, not only from myself. Um, so I, I will do that, leave it in the description, so watch out for that. Um, so yeah, he states that they mainly focus on the manager mode, which, you know, again, it's expected. The player career is definitely not a priority. But for those of you guys who were asking, you know, are the new features such as the player training, the preseason tournaments, are those also applying to the player career? And the answer is yes. He says it himself. He confirms it. We will have the ability to train our player and grow its attributes. And uh, we also will have the ability to participate in preseason tournaments. And, you know, those two big new features that are going to the manager career will also apply to the player career 100% confirmed, I repeat. Now, obviously, they are a little bit different because uh, they're not going to be exactly the same as the ones that are in the manager career. Um, so, for example, what do I mean by this? Well, in the player training mode, obviously, you won't have the ability to train with five other players like you are in the manager career mode. You have the ability to train five players at a time. Over here is just you training. And I'm assuming it's going to be by yourself. Maybe you, in the actual drills, you will have you know a chance to participate with teammates. But that's, I guess, one difference. And then the other one uh, would be the preseason tournaments you don't have the ability to choose which tournament your team you know enters or which invitation the team accepts the ai the artificial intelligence manager um the computer will do that itself you know so that those are the differences and it makes sense you know a player doesn't choose what tournaments uh it's uh, preseason tournaments its team participates in so it makes sense um and that those are i guess the only two differences from the manager career mode new features and the player career mode new features now in reference to the player training mode in the player career he does mention that you know by participating in these training drills you will be able to you know maybe obtain more playing time and also grow interest from better clubs so i guess now you have a different way of impacting you know the interest in your player for player career mode you know by training and growing your players attributes that not only will probably get you more playing time but it also will grow the interest of you know more important clubs and you you probably will get more offers now so now we actually have another way as opposed to just playing in game scoring goals giving assists you know just having good match ratings in game now we actually have the training uh, drills to help grow our, at our attributes to gain more playing time and to grow interest from better clubs he did mention that in the interview as well i believe um yeah man I, I, it breaks my heart because a lot of you guys were very optimistic about the player career i, I was reading the comments and some of you guys were ask are asking um you know are you gonna have the the chance to be substituted into games you know be on the bench and then join the game you know in the 30th minute in the 60th minute 70th minute of the second half can you come off the bench in the player career now um, you know, I can't say no, but I'll, I'll, I'll say 
Probably not. There was zero mention of that in this interview that I listened to. And I was trying to do some research, you know, Google and YouTube and stuff like that. Just trying to find something anywhere in forums, whatever. And, you know, I can't find anything like that. You know, I don't think there's any new hairstyles. A lot of you guys were concerned about that. Tattoos, maybe tattoos, because I think Lionel Messi is going to come out with his tattoos. So, you know, hope. Hopefully, you know, that's just something new. We just want something new, EA. <laughs> it sounds kind of sad, but uh, no, man, I, I don't, you know, coming off the bench and, you know, I, I had some features myself that I really, really wanted to see. Obviously, the whole storyline thing, we would want to see a player career with a storyline, sort of like the 2K does it, the, the NBA 2K series does it. That's amazing. You know, post-game interviews, I wanted first-person mode, but I don't think, you know, since there, there has been zero mention of it, I don't think any any of that stuff is coming and you know i i understand you know santiago jaramillo again the the career mode producer stated that you know fans have to understand that whenever we we bring in a new feature whenever we introduce a new feature it's it's at the expense of another thing so you know you have to sacrifice certain things to to introduce new things that's what he was saying so my question would be, you know, since we have these two new features introduced, the player training and the career mode and the preseason tournaments, um, you know, what are they sacrificing? What are the things that are going to be taken out? Maybe it's some some you know, back end stuff that we might not even notice. I don't know. But that's what he said. You know, when when there's things uh, that are introduced, uh, there's things that are also taken out, I guess, for lack of space or I'm not exactly sure. But he said that and you can hear it in the interview linked in the description. So, guys, from the information that I've gathered from, you know, listening to this over an hour long interview and I wanted to listen to the entire thing to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, it appears that we're gonna have to wait, you know, till FIFA 16, to, I mean, till FIFA 17 to FIFA 18 if you want to see any significant changes to the player career mode. I hate to say it, and I can't make that a statement of fact because I'm not sure the game hasn't came out yet. But from what I've heard, and they they haven't made any mention of it, I would I would assume if it's a big feature coming to the player career mode, they would actually mention it, like cutscenes. They would definitely make that part of their marketing, you know, plan marketing campaign. I um, mean, they haven't. So I don't think, obviously, not any cutscene. I'm not expecting that. Uh, you know, coming off the bench, I would at least have expected to hear, you know, hear it from them. But they didn't mention that at all. So I, I probably would write that off as well. You know, maybe new hairstyles. Uh, you know, they, they can go without mentioning that. Maybe we'll get new hairstyles. Um, uh, tattoos, maybe. Um, other stuff that you guys are concerned about. But I wouldn't, don't, don't get your hopes up that that high you know we are going to get the player training in the player career mode 100 percent we are going to be able to participate in the preseason tournaments but you know any of that other stuff that we had in mind you know the optimistic stuff probably not uh, we'll, like i said we'll probably have to wait till fifa 17 fifa 18 maybe you know fifa 19 20 i don't i don't know um you know i did hear that um uh, for FIFA 17, probably for the future, um, EA was uh, looking for a narrative editor. Um, I saw Chani Sports make a video on that, and maybe you know I don't know what to think of it that much, but maybe they're gonna you know thinking of the whole 2K NBA 2K series, how they have a storyline for their player career, or um, I don't know, maybe. But again, that is for the future. It's not for FIFA 16. So guys. It is what it is, man. We are getting some new features that are also in the manager mode, but don't get your hopes up and expect high, high things uh, because, you know, it's probably not going to be, you know, present. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you upset? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you like, all right, I mean, at least we're getting something. Let me know how you feel in the comments down below. Likes are greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.